Hello, I'm Isra, a second year fashion communication and management student. So today I will talk to you about the role of buyer. So after this lecture, you will have a better understanding of the role of a buyer. You will know the place of a fashion buyer in the fashion industry and you will understand the interdependence between fashion buying and fashion merchandise. So what is a fashion buyer? A fashion buyer is a manager who finds, buy the best merchandise and decide on trend for a specific store. They must select the item based on how it will appeal to the specific target market, while at the same time making sure this product will maximize the store's earnings. Typically, a fashion buyer is assigned to a specific product area. This responsibility may be different depending on the company. For a small independent store, for example, the product area may be subdivided in a very broad range. A fashion buyer may be responsible for all ladies' casual wear, which includes women's tops, trousers, jacket, or even skirt. In a larger company, the subdivision of the product area is far more focused. A fashion buyer may be responsible of a main shirt only. So what are the main role of a fashion buyer? We have to research and evaluate our relevant products. Buyers start the buying process six months before the season. We have to date, analyze and information relating to current past sales records and future change in order to establish a stock mix that will respond to the target market. We have to develop and buy a range of merchandise that achieve the profit margin. The buyer has to maximize full price sales of the stock board and minimize the unsold stock at the end of the season. They have also to source suppliers to liaise and communicate with them. After choosing the supplier, buyers liaise with them on a regular or from daily basis. We have to get symbol and costing from them before concluding the deal. Buyers are responsible for the negotiation of the product price, delivery and payment time. There are many things to be discussed during negotiation including who pays for the delivery, in what form, when the payment is to be made. The objective of the supplier and the buyer during the negotiation is to make maximum profit for their respective company. Buyer has to liaise with internal departments. This job involves liaising with most of the retailers' internal departments, such as merchandising, quality control, or even marketing. Buyers work closely with the rest of buying colleagues as their range needs to be sold alongside each other in the same stores and are to be purchased to be worn together. Fashion buyer liaise with merchandising department. Buyer and merchandiser interact regularly. Both are responsible for fitting the financial parameters of garment range. The merchandiser is the one who gives buyers the shopping needs of products in terms of price and length of time they are expected to be in store. What are qualities of successful buyer? A buyer needs to have a good negotiation skills, mathematical skills, strong analytical ability. The fashion buyer needs to be versatile and flexible. It has to develop a skills in people management and time management and need to be able to work under pressure. The interesting fact about this job is that most of the skills needed are learned within the job on through the fashion buying uh, environment. So this is also the end of the lecture. Thank you for your attention.